Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to explain you some nice tips and tricks how you can find the right answers to your questions. Maybe if you are stuck in the SAP system and if you maybe don't know what an input field is, what a title is, I would like to help you for your own help purposes so how you can find the right solutions on your own enjoy this video and let's get started you can always use the f1 help or f1 key on your keyboard to find the documentation and explanation of one specific dimple element so to use the f1 help you have to set the focus on one specific dimple element so for example onto this checkbox gr not well weighted in the delivery tab in the item area and here we are right now in the transaction ME23N to display purchase orders and then once you set the focus you can hit the F1 key on your keyboard and then the performance assistant will open up with a nice documentation and explanation about this field. Here are some different links so for example if you would like to know what goods received is in general then you can click on this link and then you will see a nice description. You can go always one step back and use different functions in the toolbar like the technical information with this button so here we you see the screen data, the GUI data, the field data, and special data for using batch import. So this is really useful. And with double click, you can use the forward navigation. So for example, to jump into the data element and you don't have to open up the ABAP dictionary with the transaction code SE11 in a different window. And then I go one step back, close this for a second, and I would like to show you a additional function and button in the toolbar. So to use this, I open up the Miro and here I set the focus into this drop down list and I hit F1 key on my keyboard. And here we can see a button called customizing. And once you've clicked on this button, you can choose a customizing project for analyzing the S Pro, the project or reference guide. And for this case, I don't want to specify a project, so I click on this button. And then here you will see all the notes in the reference guide that make changes to the text code in this case. And with double click or selecting one note and click on this button, you directly see the node in the reference guide and here you can execute the image activity specify a country so for example us and here you can directly see the customizing make some changes so this is in my case really helpful and furthermore if i close this go a couple of steps back then you here see more functions. So for example, for the text code, you can open up the application help. And here, if you click on this button, then you will open up the help.sap.com website with your release or version used. And here you can directly search for this product directly on this help.sap.com website. I will minimize this one. Or if you want to, you can also open up the glossary. So again, if you click on this, then the glossary will open up and in here you can search for different technical terms. So for example, text code, and here you see all the explanations for the text code. So for example, for the financial accounting, here we'll, we will see also this description. You can also in general open the SAP help portal. So they are not depending on your version, your release, you can search for different keywords or a product name. What I also highly recommend is to use the community.sap.com. So in here, you can also search directly within the SAP community for different technical terms. So for example, for text code, and here you will see nice articles around text codes. So this is quite useful if you want to. And here in the search list, you maybe get also some results 
or links to blogs.sap.com. So I also highly recommend to use blogs.sap.com. You can directly open it up with this menu function and here you will see really, really nice articles around different topics in SAP ERP and SAP S4HANA. And here you can directly also search for different search. If you want to, you can filter based on some categories, tags, or specific amount of time. In this case, I would like to link to my German speaking SAP blog. It's erp-app.de. I will put the link in the video description. This is basically a German speaking SAP blog. But here you will get nice articles around different and interesting facts in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. And in addition to this, I would like to show you SAP News. You can access SAP News with news.sap.com. And here you will get also nice articles around the newest information about different SAP topics and I can recommend SAP news as well. You have different course websites on, in the internet and I can recommend, so for example, Coursera. You can open up Coursera with Coursera.org. You have a lot of videos for different topics and you can, for example, search for SAP and here you will get a nice overview of SAP videos. Some are for free, for some you have to pay. You can look around. Furthermore, you can also use Udemy, so you can use udemy.com and in here you can use the category office productivity and sap if you want to you can search also for popular topics or for sap in general and here you will get a nice overview of different sap courses and again some are for free for some you have to to pay um, and here you can look around and here you can search for different videos. Great. And furthermore, I highly recommend also different books. So for example, I can recommend SAP Press and Espresso tutorials. So you can open up SAP Press with sap-press.com. And here you can look around and search for different topics for SAP, for different categories. There are really great books around different topics. You can have a look around. And furthermore, also on Espresso Tutorials, so espresso-tutorials.com. Here you have also different books and videos all around SAP topics. And in general, if you are really stuck, you can also use the a search engine. So for example, Google, DuckDuckGo, Bing, or whatever, and search for your issues you're currently facing. And there are a lot of nice SAP blogs around. Try it, help it out. Or what you also can do, on this YouTube channel ERP app, you can also raise your question. I am really happy to help you. On support.sap.com, you will find nice solutions for your problems or especially SAP nodes. So open this up. Here you can enter a keyword or directly an ID of a SAP node. Here you can use different options and this is also useful. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, add a comment and subscribe for free and then see you in the next video.